Hello, my name is Jack, Audi Sports Specialist at Audi Green Saga. Today we have a great event at our dealership, the Audi Sport Tour. We are very honored to have Lindsay Reyes and her RS3 LMS here with us. So, welcome Lindsay. Thank you, Jack. Thank, Thank you for you. coming and we do new baby here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so she's happy to be here. Okay, great. Um, can you tell us what make you choose racing as you as a profession? Um, when I was 15, 16 years old, I absolutely fell in love with driving. Uh, once I got behind the wheel of a car, it was not just about the control, but it was about the speed and how it made me feel. And I just felt, you know, this is where I'm meant to be in a way. So I took that, and it took a little bit of time, but I took that passion, that love for you know, driving and etc. And uh, you know, le years later, I decided to put it into fruition. And I got to the track. I volunteered a little bit, and ended up getting some sponsors, some partners, and we made it to the racetrack in a competitive capacity. So it was, uh, you know, a natural progression. It took a while. Took a very long time, actually, from 15 to 16. And you know, 23 years old was when I started racing competitively. And uh, along the way, you know, I always just knew that it was there and that's what I wanted to do, that passion, that power, and uh, I haven't looked back since. So something like a deep new heart. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. So can you tell us what the best record, uh, recent record I ever had? Uh, well, to be completely honest, when I'm out there, it's almost every single race, every single time I'm on track, I'm beating my times and lowering my times. Um, I'm always trying to improve my skills. I'm always trying to get those times down um, because racing is very competitive, and it's important to remember and remember that, and always work towards improving yourself. It's like any sport. Um, so every time I go out, I'm, I'm improving and I'm setting my own personal records uh, in terms of uh, placements. In the last two and a half years, we've seen about 11, 12 podiums, and last year I got my ever first first place win. Oh, that's very impressive. Okay, so tell us what the most challenging thing you faced in your racing career? Um, quite ironically, this car right here. Okay. And it's not a challenge because the car is hard to drive or any of that. The car is pristine and perfect. It's what I was driving before and transitioning to this new car. So I was in a rear wheel drive, rear engine car. Um, so a lot of the weight's in the back, you know, you're driving with the rear wheels. And transitioning to this, where we're front engine, front wheel drive, it was a big learning curve for me because I basically had to change my driving style and adapt to the car and, you know, think about my corners a little bit differently. Um, and, you know, we, we made that transition very well, but it was a challenge at the beginning. It was, you know, trying to wrap my head around, okay, instead of this, I have to be doing the complete opposite. For sure, from the view view drive, the front view drive, the big trend, Right, and the... Um, Let's talk a bit about, about, about how you are at CLMS. Absolutely. Uh, so it's a 2008 model year. They, I think Audi Germany started just selling them last year, so 2017. Um, we've had it for about three months now, so I've done a couple races in it already. We've got one uh, a second place win. I call it a win. Second place win. Uh, top three is always a win for me. And. Um, it's been fantastic, and you know, once I got over that learning curve, like I was just saying, it's this car is just so smooth. The DSG system inside of it is, is just beautiful, and the noise it makes is also beautiful, and puts a smile on my face. Um, so, 330 horsepower, 2.5 liters, um, and yeah, the interior is completely gutted. And I've got this beautiful steering wheel with about 12 different buttons on it, so that was actually a fun learning curve as well. Exactly. Uh, but I'm just happy to have it here, and I'm happy to be partnered with uh, Audi of Mississauga for the season. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I have learned you had a post before, right? Okay. So what drove you to the Audi brand? 
Well, Audi Motorsport has a lot of brand passion in, you know, in racing Audi Sport, um, and they have some really great all Audi series, like the TT Cup and the GT3 Cup. Uh, so it's just, you know, that brand passion is there, the passion for motorsport is there, and for me, you know, Audi, I've, I've always really regarded the brand very well. And you know, it, here's my proof. I get in this car and it's right. absolute perfection. So okay. I'm happy, definitely happy to be with the brand. Right. Um, how does the RS3 LMS differ from the RS3 V sale at Arjun Sun? So the RS3 um, street car versus this car, there's quite a few differences. Of course, like I said, my race car is completely gutted. So if you get in there, you're in a racing seat, you have the racing steering wheel, and there's not much else. Uh, so that transi translates to you know weight reduction. This car is about uh, 2,600 pounds, where the street car is about 3,300 pounds. Right. So you have a little more agility. Of course, the downforce on this car, you can see with the wing at the back and the fenders. Um, there's a lot, you need that for the speeds that we're going in this car, you need that. And especially with the weight reduction, that helps to keep the car planted. So that's another big difference. And uh, the engine is actually completely different. So this is a two liter and the RS3 street car is the 2.5. So this car is almost a turned down version of the RS3 in terms of horsepower. Um, and that's just because this car is meant to fit in with the worldwide homologation of the TCR spec series. So it needs to be amongst that level. So 330 horsepower versus the RS3, which is 400 for the street car. Yeah. So I'm just curious, do you think the regular RS3 is going to fit for the track? Oh, absolutely. Give me the opportunity to drive it on track and I'll show you. <laughs> okay, great. So can I see the passenger side? <laughs> exactly, yes. Okay, sounds good, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, no, the, the RS3, had, I had the chance to drive it with you guys on the street. Well-balanced, well-rounded car. Um, I think it would be fantastic on track. You know, the braking is there, the acceleration is there, the, you know, you can feel it in the suspension, the handling is there, so just about testing it to its limit. I see. So it really gives us, our customer, our customer confidence. Uh, yeah. So definitely going to have you in the car. Okay, so you could tell us what's the racing schedule for the rest of the year? Yeah, so we're actually on track this weekend, uh, July 27th to 29th. Uh, racing this in the GT3 category. Uh, this is the series that we won a second place win earlier this season. So we're looking to see some, some good results this weekend. And then in August, uh, the third weekend of August, 24th to 26th, we're back at, sorry, this weekend we're at the entire motorsport park, and we're back there again in August uh, with Canadian Touring Car Championship. Um, so, look out for us. Great. So, tell us, how can we find out more about wrestling? Uh, so, I'm, I'm very active online. Uh, I have a website, I have Instagram, social media. So I have a lot of opportunity for people to engage or ask me questions if you ever had some information you wanted to know about the season, the team, out in Mississauga. Uh, so first and foremost, I have a website, so www.gracerracing.ca. Uh, there you can find the schedule, photos, uh, press releases, anything regarding uh, me and my racing. And then Instagram, it's at Grace Racing. Twitter, it's at Grace Racing T-O. Toronto um, and yeah everything's everything's out there so if you ever want to get in touch if you ever want to come out to a race you know we'd love to see you out there and supporting the brand supporting the team so sure, sure. feel free to get in touch so definitely we're gonna like follow you support you as always we do thank okay. you yeah so be great thank you Lindsay and the uh, best of wishes thank you and good luck for you and you are three thank you so we look forward to seeing you on the track thanks <laughs>